All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Laszlo. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to Explore your mind and your digestive system, Laszlo. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laszlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through carrot juice. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even frighten myself. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, and it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. Laszlo, a closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheatgrass, I think you'll really like my book. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, hi -ya! Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time, do not make me angry. It's bad for my karma, and it will definitely be bad for your karma. I study the martial arts so I could stand up to bullies just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you too. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Laszlo, this is your final warning. Do not make me go into my dragon's dance. <laughs> Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I wanted to ask about Chapter 29, Yoga, Not Yogurt. I just can't give up cheese. It's so wonderful. I've rejected chocolate milk and cat's butter out of my life. I've scooted around the house with my legs in behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like the chicken the exorcist. I even put all the dairy on the top shelf of the fridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs in behind my head and all. But I grow weak and start knocking things down with a broom. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. <laughs> you certainly are. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla, Laszlo? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Laszlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all-you-can-eat breakfast buffets with huge pans of juicy bacon... Can we get some bacon in here? <sighs> Laszlo, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. The next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand-pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, kung fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you instill fear in your opponent. They never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja and kicking people's asses. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in Chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked, organic vegetables. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half with my bare toes. In fact, Laszlo, I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two-inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers, and knowing this station, it costs $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. 
Dragon Stance. Hey ya! Oh! Oh, oh Lalo! Lalo! I think I hurt my hand and my, my pinky's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lalo, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruise easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lalo. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the feng shui in here. It's downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air.